Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is MetaMath. And today, we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, square root of 3 times a negative 5 times the square root of 10 plus the square root of 6, okay? Well, <clears throat> what I want to do here is first, can I simplify anything within this parenthesis? Not really, not really. So what I want to do now is distribute the square root of 3 across, square root of 3 to both parts. Well, the negative 5 is 6 on the outside, and the square root of 10, uh, we can write that to be 10 times 3 and sign one parenthesis. I do the same thing, bring the square root of 3 across here, and so I have the square root of 6 times 3 right there. Okay, so now I'm trying to simplify this. Well, 10 comes out to be 2 times 5, so I simplify that, I have 2 times 5, but I don't see any pairs inside the square root, so sometimes we break this down, we don't see any pairs that we can circle. So when I simplify this, I have negative 5 times the square root of, well, I just do 10 times 3 or 2 times 5 times 3, which is 30. Okay? Then we have plus sign here. 6 breaks down to be a 2 times 3. Okay? Well, I do have a pair of 3s now, right there, right? A pair of 3s, so I'm going to put a single 3 on the outside, and the 2s is left over inside the square root, and there we go. And that's actually it. Since I can't simplify this anymore, this is my final answer here. Negative 5 times the square root of 30 plus 3 times the square root of 2. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 3 times parenthesis negative 5 times the square root of 10 plus the square root of 6. So from there, I simplified this. I multiplied this across. Okay, the square root of 3 just rooted both parts there. And we're left with a negative 5 times the square root of 10 times 3 plus the square root of a 6 times 3. Broke them down. 6 times 3, uh, we're going to be 2 times 3 times 3. I have a pair of 3s. And the 3 is on the outside, 2 is just on the inside. Well, the 10 I broke down to be 2 times 5, but didn't find any pair, so it actually can't be any simpler. Uh, more simple form, so it's multiplied 10 times 3 to be 30. And so our final answer here, again, is negative 5 times the square root of 30 plus 3 times the square root of 2.